Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey, everybody, thanks for joining us on today's video. You may be saying to yourself, like, what's a muscle car, exotic car, a kind of place doing with a Volvo? Well, I have to tell you this. Even though Volvo was all about safety, um, they actually had a little bit of performance in them, too. As we walk around this car, first off, for 1969, they're pretty ahead of their time. Secondly, we know that they're safe to begin with. And third, this one here has ridiculously low miles. Uh, it's claimed to have 32,477 original miles on this car. And as we look around and show you some things on it, it looks to be really, really true. It's only had two owners. The last owners had it for a really, really long time. His grandfather gave it to his grandson, and the grandson really couldn't take care of it. So he wanted to make sure that we found a new home and somebody who could carry on the tradition of this car. And one of the things I love so much about it was this cool color and uh, we threw a little red pinstripe on it just to make sure, but uh, it's called Sabring Gray, and it looks like this uh, kind of uh, buffed and polished uh, primer. And it, uh, it is a fresh paint job on the car, and it looks really, really good. So uh, come on down here. Let's take a quick peek at, at some paint quality because uh, the video should make it nice and clear that you can read everything on there. If a guy is taking pictures for you for a car and you're looking online at stuff, then you know what? Ask him to do the same thing. Hey, listen, if you don't mind, go grab the newspaper, hold that on the hood and take a picture. I guarantee you, you're not going to see the clarity. You need to see it red, like I'm talking about, so clear and so beautiful. Uh, and that's what makes a really great paint. The pictures are able to hide that. Some hidden things in here. Obviously, this car has steel belted radials. In 69, probably didn't. It had belted tires in there, but this made the drive so much better. Buried inside here are disc brakes, which is very nice. Obviously, a lot of the crumple zones, the additional marker lights, you can really see a lot of the safety that Volvo had put in there. And one of the things that we did have here is kind of cool, is we have this on file. It's a replica of the, uh, the Volvo 142S test drive from Road & Track. They loved it. Uh, and this car was very expensive in 69. This was the price of, uh, of a Corvette um, and things like that. So, you know, not a lot of people were able to, to afford something like that. And then on this side right here, we have uh, something about the safety of it. And then what we're going to do is look at how detailed it is as far as uh, the performance aspect. So let's take a peek under the hood and see uh, where the motivation comes from. This is really nicely detailed too. Here's the Volvo 2 liter in here, with side drafts on there. Just looking to make sure that everything's detailed and ready to go. This thing runs and drives so really, really nice. Um, the steering here is nice and tight. It has power brakes, which we talked about having disc brakes too, so it has the power disc brakes on it. Um, it doesn't have power steering, but for some reason it doesn't feel like it needs to, and it really does handle very well. So uh, as you look around, they did a nice job painting a lot of the great pieces in here. Some of the stuff's original, like inside here, this paint here appears to be all original, uh, which lends credence to the, the very low miles on the car. The underneath the car looks really good too. And all of the stuff here, which is kind of weird, you really can't get this stuff uh, to restore these cars. So this either has to be really original or you had to find some really good pieces that were maybe uh, left over in somebody's barn or something like that. This seems to be all original and it's held up well, again, uh, representation of the low miles of the car. So, all right. All right, let's, uh, let's take a peek in the trunk for a second. Little things about a car and its restoration. Like when the doors open, do the lights come on inside the car? But for instance, like here, the taillights work. Very rare does the tag light work, okay? This right here is working beautifully. All right, we'll check out the detail of the trunk too. So when we were talking about the belted tires, that's it right there. But keep in mind, these cars also came with, uh, this one has 15 inch wheels on it. And then we have a couple of uh, parts that may have been restored along the way, like these are original tail lights, okay? And maybe just over age and time. And these are still in really good shape and they have the date on them too, which is kind of cool. Extra belts, uh, some weather stripping and welting, uh, and all that stuff's in here because uh, uh, it just looks really, really very nice inside. So. Go ahead and close this up. Okay, let's check out the inside in here. This is nice. Like, check out the carpeting in here. How really nice everything still inside. It has the original rubber uh, floor mat there. The dash is really what a lot of times will tell you if it's true mileage or not. Because a lot of times over time, if these things have 100, 200,000 miles, they've been subject to a lot of heat, sun, things like that. And all this stuff fades, cracks, and what have you. The numbers in here are really cool. And like, check out some of this cool stuff. You can actually set this pointer uh, to where you want, it's almost like a speed minder, but here it is. I normally set them uh, at about 170 miles an hour because right at like 170, the front ends start to float a little bit. They don't handle as well. I'm making all this up, I'm just kidding. I'd never go over 55, so I'm gonna move it right back down to 55. Okay, maybe not 55, maybe, maybe somewhere in the range in there. But anyway, it's really cool. But uh, like for instance, like the square 
uh, that shows what gear you're in. Uh, all the lights work. This has a choke built in right here, a factory choke, which is nice. And it's not that cheesy cable, uh, nasty thing that we see on so many cars. Fan switch, everything's clear. And Check this out here. It doesn't look like they were a smoker. This one's had an upgraded radio put in the dash, which is kind of nice. It's got some extra speakers in there. If you wanted to go to a show and be like super authentic, we could move this maybe into uh, uh, the lockable glove box here, which might be a better place for it. Okay. Got a couple extra speakers back there, but I wanted you to see how really nice the back seats were. Okay. And how much thought they've given to this car. First off, they gave you shoulder belts in 1969. Not a lot of people were offering those. And they put the release for the seat over here for the driver to help the other person get in. This has built-in lumbar here, so you can set it for soft and firm. It was built into the seat. Keep in mind, we're talking about circa 1969, which is pretty cool. Nice big steering wheel, easy to drive. Headliner looks great, and it's almost perfect. Dome light works. Fold down rear armrest in the back. Very, very nice. But uh, I will say this to you, although, uh, although it's not super loud, it runs really, really well. And again, it's showing 32,482 miles after a couple test drives. Even the trip odometer works properly. And we'll go ahead and start this for you right now. Maybe choke it just a little bit. How cool is that? I mean, this thing runs so smooth. I wanted to close the video up inside the car here because you know what? This car still looks great today. I love the color of it. It's not bright red and it's not, uh, it's not black. It's this cool kind of gray. The red interior looks awesome in here. Uh, obviously the interior from uh, the video and me just telling you too is really, really nice. Um, and we got these couple test drives, which is kind of cool from original from 69. Other uh, reprints on here showing uh, how, you know, these cars got well into the uh, 20 mile per gallon range when gas didn't really matter at the time. So uh, first off, it was safe, had a little bit of performance, got good gas mileage, and was very roomy inside. So uh, if you want a cool, classic car, this is a car you could take to a car show and probably not see a whole lot more like it. Anyway, call us 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about it.